Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete. So I've heard a dad tell a story about leaving his teenagers home alone while he and his wife went out on a date. And he gave them specific instructions. Don't watch TV, just do your homework. Well, as he was driving up to the house after they'd gone out to dinner, he's driving up to the house and he noticed through the window, the light was glowing blue and he knew that his kids were watching TV. So he was a little bit extra quiet coming in, hoping that he could catch them watching television. And he could see the light glowing, but as soon as the car door shut, the light went off and the kids all went back to acting like they were obeying dad the whole time. That reminds me of the passage where Jesus is warning his followers about how to live their life as they wait for him to return. This is in Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 through 51. It's a long passage. I'm not going to read it all right now, but I want to encourage you to be sure to come back to this passage and read the whole thing. But let me just point out a few of the verses. Verse 36 of Matthew 24 says, But concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven nor the Son, but the Father only. Then go down to verse 44. Therefore, you must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and wise servant who his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom the fast master will find so doing when he comes. So this passage is teaching a theological truth that we call the imminence of Christ's return. That means that we can expect Jesus, our Savior, to return to this earth at any time. He could come back today. And what he's saying here is be ready. Be ready so that when our master comes back, he finds us doing the things that he's asked us to do. This is something that the church has been expecting now for over 2,000 years. Believers in Jesus have always desired for him to come back, for him to establish his kingdom, for him to wipe away all of the bad that happens in the world. Um, and they've been waiting for that. Jesus promises here that he is coming and we need to be ready. So let me encourage you, obey God, obey the things that he asks you to do. Treat others with respect and kindness and love and especially seek to do well to others who are trusting in Jesus Christ. So let me encourage you, Calvary, Keep in mind that Jesus could come back at any time. So I hope today you live like you could see him this afternoon. Have a great day.